Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to take some old headphones, or what could be old headphones rather, and upgrade them. Uh, specifically, I know a couple of weeks ago I made a video about how I fix things when my cats bite them in half. So I kind of wanted to take that a step further and add a little bit of a DIY element to it as well. If you have any pairs of headphones at home that your cats keep chewing through, or your dog, new puppy, whatever keeps th chewing through, you can do what I do and simply fuse everything back together and keep using it like nothing ever happened. So these two ideas are for primarily headphones that you already have uh, and that you want to fix up. So the reason I say that is I actually bought new headphones for this and I obviously didn't want to spend money on good quality headphones um, that I was going to uh, possibly be ruining or cutting up and especially for buying two. So I actually bought them from the Dollar Tree and if you know anything about Dollar Tree headphones, they go bad really quickly and they are very, very difficult to actually hear anything through. Now they're functional if you're say taking public transport and you just need to listen to something or voice or um, you know get through a video or study something on YouTube real fast on your way to class I totally understand that sometimes these have their purpose but in other instances um, they just don't really cut it and in that case specifically when I was trying to open them up and refuse them back together they only have two wires inside of it and I mean two it's not like a multitude of like little copper wires it is one red wire one blue wire and it was almost impossible to reconnect them the way that they had been probably without a soldering iron and I didn't want to have to spend that much money to make this project happen so as a result um, I got two simple sets of headphones from the Dollar Tree. I got this fun little pink headset here, and I also got a simple white pair. Something that's nice about the pink pair is it actually like connects together in the back there. You can just snap them together, which is kind of nice. Um, and I wanted to try out two ideas for covering up any chew marks from your cats um, or covering up anything you had to do to fuse them back together. My first idea to cover up any splice you have in a set of headphones, either from a pet chew or from a personal mistake, whatever it may be, uh, once you reconnect your headphones, um, or rather right before you reconnect your headphones, you can actually string some beads over top of them. And this is a really great idea, not only aesthetically, because it looks absolutely beautiful, but it's also a really good idea because it adds an extra layer of protection, so it prevents any of your animals from actually going in and uh, taking a snack out of one of your headphones again. I double checked online and everything that I am showing you in the video is still accurate. Um, everything I did earlier, like there's nothing about this that shouldn't have worked. I think just because of the nature of this and because of how few wires there are, it's very difficult to uh, reattach without actually soldering it. So I'm going to leave this in here just as, as a little bit of inspiration. Um, but I will tell you that if you are going to get a pair of Dollar Tree headphones to try this DIY, I definitely wouldn't. Um, this is really just for if you have a pair of quality headphones that are broken anyway and you wanted to give this a shot just to see if you could um, revitalize something old that you may have thrown away otherwise so um, yeah that's that the second idea is for a super simple wrapped headphone look um, so this is very simply done with some really inexpensive 49 cent uh, if not cheaper depending on where you get it from embroidery floss um, and I did a cool little ombre pattern to kind of imitate the um, the look of say like a hair wrap from the 90s um, and I'm just in the process of letting the like popping some clear nail polish on it and kind of cleaning up the edges but I think it definitely creates more of like a kind of boho look especially if you maybe go for some more muted colors um, it makes it look a little bit more like a fashion statement really than just a simple old pair of headphones and you're able to protect your cords a little bit more with a little extra layer as well as obviously being able to cover up any um, reconnections you may have had to do if you have an animal that has chewed through your headphone. All right, I actually decided to do a gradient of pinks to kind of tie in the dark with it. So I've got a really light pink, a medium pink, and a hotter pink, definitely not as hot as the headphones. And I think I'm gonna start with the lightest color at the bottom and then work my way to the top with the darker ones. I think I might take a, like a, a ruler or something and kind of separate like the, wherever I think the, sections would be so that it's nice and even. 
or not, I don't know. Um, but I am gonna kind of walk you through the process and probably hyperlapse through a lot of this just because I think um, this can definitely get to be a tedious process and it will take a hot minute to finish up. So I am go just going to start by uh, unwrapping a good chunk of this and going down to the very base wherever you want that to be you can obviously take this all the way down to like say the central point here all you have to do is cross them at the bottom and tie a little knot of course um, I'm sure that I'm doing a really really solid job of showing you how to do that right now because um, you know my fingers are just so tiny and you can see everything I'm doing because I'm a quality youtuber all right, so I got that set around, and now all that there is to do, I'm actually going to cut a, a decent length of this off first, uh, just so I'm not trying to yank around too much. You can uh, tie the ends when you switch colors, of course, um, but I am going to just go through and start uh, wrapping it around and trying to keep it nice and tight. Um, I actually did this when I made a dream catcher not too long ago. I mean, it was not too long ago, actually. It was probably closer to a couple months ago based on my upload schedule. Um, I like to film a lot of videos like in one uh, day or like in a, over the course of a week and then post them like weekly just so that I can have time to do my stuff full time. It's just a lot of pre-filming for me and then I'll kind of edit them throughout each individual week before uh, submitting them or maybe I'll edit a lot in like one day or over the course of a weekend. Um, so I think for me, I only did the Dreamcatcher like last month, but I'm pretty sure it was published in January and this video won't be going up till April or May. So that's quite a long time um, as far as everything goes for um, you, but I think for me, uh, you know, this was a pretty recent um, experience for me. But um, basically I wanted to wrap the entire outside of my um, ring that I that I made the dream catcher around and to do that I just did exactly what I'm doing here where I'm I took a big length of it and started wrapping it around I actually feel like I might have used this exact color on it uh, now that I'm looking at it it's actually like right in front of me um but yeah it's just kind of wrapping and then like pushing it up against uh what you've already done just to kind of make it nice and uh tight and yeah, this is obviously the most boring, kind of like rambly part of this video, for sure. But I'm just gonna start a hyperlapse and maybe watch some TV. Um, this will take a hot minute. Um, and I'll stop probably before the next color to show you how I'm going to continue wrapping with a new color um, and try to make it as seamless as possible. So, yep. Let's move into the, uh, the hyperlapse. Alright, so my first section was a little bit longer than I anticipated, but you know what? That's okay. I am just fine with that. But once Sterling gets out of the way here, I'm going to show you how to attach the next color. Very simply, I am just going to go in and I'm going to tie a knot between the two colors. That way I can continue wrapping without stopping or without having to worry about adding any sort of adhesive to keep it from getting untied. So once I have that done, I'm going to keep wrapping it and I will come back later and remove any of the extra string. So I am just going to keep going until I run out of this color and then I will go on to the last one and I will show you the finished product. And that is a simple way to upgrade your headphones. Now, obviously, um, you're going to want to go through and clean up any of the outsides. You can either do this with hot glue, or I think I'm going to go through and fix it up with some um, clear, nail, nail, clear nail polish just to make sure that the ends don't fray. Um, and once that's done, yeah, you got yourself a nice fancy little ombre headphone design. Um, and hopefully uh, a little bit of extra protection the next time your cat wants to bite your earphones in half. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I think I forgot to film an outro. 
So with uh, all that said, I hope you enjoyed these uh, fun little ideas to upgrade your headphones. And uh, if you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and I'd love to see you there next week with me. So thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I will be seeing you then. Bye-bye.